Hi guys, welcome to Flying Grip Academy. Today we are going to discuss how to create an AMI. Now, what I am going to do is here I have selected the instance which is a server, and here I have gone to actions. Among the actions, here we are having images and templates. Here we are going to create an image. Image defines it is a backup of particular server which we are going to create. Now, in order to take the image, you can able to take the image while the instance is running. Otherwise, you can able to stop the instance and you can able to take the backup. And here, you can able to stop the instance. It will stop for a certain amount of time. Later on, you can able to start the instance. Here, what I am going to do is, here I am going to refresh. Now, here the instance is stopped. Now here I have gone to actions, image and templates. Here you can not able to create the image. So now what I am going to do is here if you are going to notice instance state was not stopped earlier. Here I can create an image. Here I am going to create an image. You want to back up. Here I am going to enter the date. So 0, 05 11 2022. Here uh, description you can able to uh, give a description. So up to date. Here you want to reboot the volume, otherwise no need. Here, do you want to create add a volume? Add a volume specifies you can able to add an additional val volume so that it will be like uh, your D drive, E drive, and so on. At the time, you can able to add additional volume. Otherwise, you can able to click create an image. Now, your instance is created. It is what it is going to show is currently running creating a AMI. Amazon machine image and again what it is showing and it is going to show the image name and from the particular instance from which instance it has created. So now what I am going to do is I am going to start the instance. So now I have selected the instance and instance state start instance. So now the instance has successfully started. Now here it has to show the instance state from pending to running. So again I am going to refresh this state and still it is uh, showing pending. I wait for few seconds it will be activated. So now at the left side here we are having under the images we are having a AMI. If you are going to click the AMI here you can able to see it has created an AMI. So now here if you are going to see the state it is showing pending state because it has a taking the backup still and it is in pending state once the backup is finished then it will be resuming the normal state. So then I am going to refresh it. So now what it is showing? status is available. So now this particular AMI is regional. Here if you are going to see it is regional which is stored under the Asia Pacific Mumbai AP South World. For example if you want to go to the instant state actions and there are certain kind of actions here Edit AMI, AMI, copy AMI. So, for example, if you want to copy the AMI, so to some other region. For example, there is a some other server which I have initiated as a backup. If I want to uh, store in the remote server which is located in, in the different countries, I could able to select some other region, so which is London or Ireland, wherever, so that it will be copied to the specific region so that you can able to migrate this particular AMI from one place to another. 
normally companies used to have a backup or daily activities so that uh, they can have a backup and so that they can able to recover once the server is crashed then also they can able to recover the backup for that purpose they are going to create the AMI this particular image you can able to transfer from one account to another account so now I have selected this particular AMI and actions so now here we can able to select the particular AMI actions and modify image permission. So in this particular edit AMI permissions, you can able to select a AMI availability to public also. So now here it is asking shared accounts numbers. For example, here if you are going to see at the top, I am having a account ID. This is my account ID. I can able to select the account ID so to whom I am going to share this particular volume so which I have created a backup so that I can able to add an account ID so that that will be added so that the particular AMI will be shared if you want to add that particular AMI to be shared for a certain people you can able to share that one also so next one we are having a snapshot here this particular image which we have created so that is associated with the snapshot here if you are going to notice this particular snapshot we can able to have an image copy so that which uh, there is a another feature uh, which you can able to modify from snapshot it is possible to create an image you can able to copy this snapshot from one region to another region here also you can able to edit the name so whatever the name you want to enter you can able to enter Ubuntu so and you can able to save the name of the image and you can able to select the actions you can able to modify the permissions here also you can able to find a shared account where you are going to share this snapshot with AWS account ID so which I have told already so 9393231614391439 so this is my account ID so where I can able to transfer this particular snapshot so now here you can able to attach the volume or detach the volume for example if you are going to the volume tab here volumes here you can able to go to the actions so you can able to detach the volume or you can able to attach the volume so it is going to identify based upon the volume id so here you have volume id once if you are going to click the volume id here you can able to copy otherwise you can go to the instances here you click the instance id so here you have clicked the storage so once if you are going to click the storage you can able to find the volume id so here you have a volume id 8c copy that one and uh, what i am going to do is i am going to volumes let us see whether the volume is same or not otherwise you can copy and paste the volume so that it, it will be finding the volume so whenever there is a lot many number of servers are there at the time it is very difficult to identify volume id here also you can able to give a name so that it can able to identify the specific volume which you want to attach or detach lifecycle manager so here you are having a eba snapshot policy if you click the next step so here you can able to take up the backup either volume or instance here the thing is you need to enter a key value pair uh, backup so which you are going to take it daily backup daily so daily or weekly like that uh, you can able to select and default role if you want to add role all the things you can able to add so here what it is going to do is it is going to take the backup automatically based upon your schedule here in the step 2, 
you are having a configure a schedule based upon the schedule it is going to review and create the number of backups in your system so this is uh, all about uh, creating the backup ami snapshot and life cycle policy if you like this video please like share and subscribe my channel thanks for watching